everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts. Um, it's been a while since I did a crochet video. Um, I am going to show you how to make this cowl. So I printed off these directions, it looks like back from 2018. And um, so this is not my pattern, but I did find this pattern online. Um, it was like hills or high, highlandhillscrochet.com, but I tried to go to the website and I couldn't get to it. So I don't know if it's just not up anymore. Um, I have no idea about this pattern or who created it. I would really love to give them credit in my video. So if you do see this, I can link, you know, the link to the pattern or if you're selling it or whatever. But um, yeah, I have no idea. When I went to click it, it just went to um, not available. So I will show you a picture of what the original one looked like. I'm going to insert it in here along with the, the link that shows that it, you can't get to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be crocheting this cowl. So um, I did change this pattern up a little bit. So um, what I am going to do is I am going to use a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to be using this Roll With It Melange or Melange. I'm not quite sure how you say it, um, yarn. I do believe, yep, this is, uh, it says four medium. But to me, this is more of like... A DK yarn I don't know it's it's a very light yarn so this cowl is actually going to be very um, spring like so it's a repeating pattern there's four rows that keep repeating so what I'm going to do is at first you're going to chain 38 um, also if you are a beginner and you are just learning to crochet this is probably not going to be the video for you so I'm just letting you know that. So I'm going to chain 38. Okay, I have my chain 38 done. And then what I'm going to do, this is actually round one. There is five rows and rows two through five um, are the ones, that, the four rows that repeat. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet all the way across in the chains. Just a simple single crochet. Okay, I just have one last single crochet to put in the end here. And then we are gonna start on <clears throat> round two. So that, we had the first, which was the chain 38. Round two was single crochet all the way across. Then we're gonna chain one and turn it over. We're gonna single crochet in the first one right there. And then we are going to chain three. All right, and then we are going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and we are going to do a cluster stitch in this one. So we are going to yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Oh, I got it stuck. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. And we're going to do this for a total of four times until we have five loops on the hook. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're going to pull through all of them. Then sing, or sorry, chain three. And then we're going to skip two stitches, so one, two, and single crochet in the next one. Okay, then chain three, three, and then we're going to do a cluster stitch. We're going to skip two stitches and do a cluster. Two, three. Four, and pull through the five loops and then chain three skip two and single crochet so 
the pattern is on row two, you are going to single crochet, skip two stitches, do a cluster stitch, skip two, single crochet, skip two, cluster, skip two, single crochet. So it's just a repeating pattern on this row. So one, two, three. It's a little hard to hold this right at the beginning. Once we get a little farther in and it gets bigger, it's a lot easier to work with. So next one would be a cluster. So skip two and the cluster stitch. Until we have five loops on the hook and pull through all five. So it is chain, single crochet, chain three, skip two, cluster, skip two, single crochet, skip two, cluster. Um, hopefully I am explaining this really good. Um, a cluster stitch again. Here, let me get a little here. I'm going to show you the cluster one more time, but I need to put my single crochet in here. So chain three, and then you skip two and do your cluster. So you yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. And then you have five on the hook and pull through all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to get to the end of this row here. Okay, so I put my last cluster in. I chain three, skip two, and I'm going to find that last stitch on the end there and put a single crochet in there. So that is the end of round two. Now we're going to do round three. So you're going to chain five, two, three, four, five. You're going to flip over your work. And then you are going to put a single crochet right at the top of your cluster here. So right in these two stitches and do a single crochet. And then you are going to chain two and then you are going to put a double crochet right in that spot right there in this single crochet. All right, so this whole row is going to be another repeating row. So you chain two, single crochet in the top of that cluster, right there, chain two, and then you're going to double crochet in that single crochet, and chain two. Let me get my work here, it's turning on me. And then single crochet in the top. So this pattern up here again is you chain five right here and then you put your single crochet in the top of your cluster and then you're going to chain two double crochet. Chain two single crochet in the cluster, chain two double crochet in this single. So we'll do one more. So chain two and then double crochet in that single crochet right there. Okay, let me, maybe if I hold this down and then chain two and then single crochet in the top. And you're going to go all the way until um, the end. We'll meet up right here. Okay, I just single crocheted and chain two right here and then this very last stitch on the end here you're going to do a double crochet so double crochet right there and then that is at the end of round three now rounds four and five are going to be a lot easier so what you do is you chain one and then you are going to single crochet all the way across so you start right here, putting a single crochet right in that end there, and then you're going to put two single crochets 
in this loop right here. And then you're going to single crochet in that double crochet right there. And two in here. So you should have 37 single crochets by the time you are done. So you're basically, you're crocheting in the double crochet. You're putting two in here, crochet in the single. So you're going to have 37 all the way across. So just remember to put two in your chain two right here. Two of them go in there. So I'll just do a couple here. I really hope you can see this. I have not done one of these crochet videos in a long time. I've been mostly crafting. But this pattern is so beautiful. I just wanted to share it with everybody. I just wish I knew who was the creator of it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crochet all the way across. Okay, so I just single crocheted in this last single right there. So right here at the end you're going to single crochet single crochet and then you are going to put one more single crochet in this chain space right here you just want to make it look about even so that there's i don't know i can't remember how many exactly go up but yeah you're just going to put a single crochet in this turning chain don't put it like way down here put it more towards the top so it's nice and even and then that is row four then row five is just another row of single crochets so you're going to chain one turn your work and then you are just going to single crochet all the way across just like that all the way to the end. Okay, I am up to my last single crochet at the end of row five. And then this is where it repeats. So I will do the four more repeating rows with you and then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do the rest of it. So what you do is you're back to round two so you chain one, turn, single crochet in the first one there and then you are going to chain three and then you are going to put your skip two stitches and then put your cluster in so you remember you want to have five loops on your hook pull through then chain three and then you are going to skip two stitches and put a single crochet in there. So chain three, skip two stitches, and do another cluster. Chain three and then skip two and single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that row done. Now this is row two, it is the first row of the repeat. Okay, I'm at the end of the row, I just did my cluster. I'm going to chain three and skip two and single crochet right in that end stitch. All right, and then now we're gonna start row three, which is the second row of the repeating, and we're gonna chain five. Three, four, five. Turn our work over. And then you're going to single crochet right in the top of the cluster. And then you're going to chain two. And then you're going to put a double crochet in this single crochet right here. Okay. And then chain two and single crochet in top of the cluster chain two, double crochet in this single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the cluster. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get that row done. Okay, I just single crocheted in my last cluster. I'm going to chain two 
and then you're going to put a double crochet crochet in this last stitch here. All right, and then that is the end of row three. Then we have row four and five, which are single crochet. So chain one up, and then you single crochet right in this spot right here. Put two in that chain two right there. Single crochet in the single crochet, two in the open spot, single crochet. So by the end of this, you will have 37 single crochet. So all single crochet across all the way to the end. I am at the end of this row. So I have my chain five here. So single crochet, single crochet, and then you are gonna put one more single crochet right in the stitch right here. And that is the end of row four, which is the third row in the repeating. So chain one up and then flip your work. And then you are going to do a single crochet all the way across to the end. Okay, and this is my last single crochet at the end of this round. So this is two rounds of the four rows that repeat. So if you see the little clusters here, um, you're going to make this so that there are 30 rows of these clusters. So I am going to set this aside right now because I actually already have one finished. So this is the one that I made. You can see very, very pretty yarn. So it's pretty long. I don't know exactly how long it is and it's gonna all depend on your tension and how you crochet. But now I am gonna show you how to, um, how to put it together. So I had a couple little splits here. I'm gonna have some, I have some ends and stuff to crochet in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna show you how I finish it up. Okay, now it's time to assemble it. So this is going to be the inside of our cowl and this with the bumpy parts that's going to be on the outside. So it doesn't really matter which way you put it. I guess whatever side colors you think looks best. But what you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge down like this and then you're going to bring this one over and line it up and then that is going to form your cowl. So what I do, you can leave it, you could put the buttons over here, so every time you put it on you have to button it, but I found that people get very confused and they forget how to put them on. So I actually sew mine together so that they just slip right over the head. So I have these buttons, these shell buttons that I got off of Amazon. Now my daughter and I own an Etsy shop where we sell our crochet products and that's why I have a ton of buttons. We do towels and we use those buttons, you know, for the crochet towel toppers and for cowls that we make. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use these shell buttons on here. So obviously if you're just making it for yourself, you can go crazy and spend a ton on buttons, but this is just what I am going to use. So I'm going to take some of my yarn here and I am going to sew the buttons on. So, take my darning needle, and this is my placement of um, where I put the buttons on. Obviously, you could put two on, you could just put one on, it's completely up to you. But I put my buttons right here on my cowl. So I'm just going to kind of go up over here, stick my button on, and then go through right around there. Like I said, you can put it on anywhere you want, but we are actually, these buttons are for show. Sorry, I got my needle in my mouth. You probably can't understand what I'm saying. They're just for show. So, um, or decoration, I should say, whatever you want to say. Um, like I said, you could put the buttons on the other side. That's completely up to you and how you want to do it. I just make mine so people seem to like it that they can just slip them on. So two on the end here. I 
and then I just tie it. There's the needle in my mouth again. I'm so used to doing that. But I crochet almost year round because we sell quite a bit of crochet stuff. So last year we sold out of all our cowls. So now we just we're just making, just making tons of them. All right. So this one's gonna go in the middle here. But yeah, they're so cute. And this yarn, this roll of the yarn is so pretty. I just love all the different colors. Obviously, um, you can use any type of yarn that you want. Um, you could use a thicker yarn. You would just have to make sure that it measures about the same because you don't want it too big but you also don't want it too small that it won't go around your neck but you can always test that out while you're making it all right so those are on there and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just sew all my ends in for from where my buttons are okay I have my buttons on there looks pretty nice I probably could have put that one over a little bit farther, farther, oh my gosh, it's getting late, it's like 9 o'clock on a Saturday right now, I'm getting tired, <laughs> but it looks good. So I have this old crochet case that I use, and what I do for making my fringe, as you can see, I have this all cut up, I just wrap um, my yarn around the crochet case, and then I cut it off. So I'll have to measure this here real quick and let you know about how long my fringes, because I've just been, that's what I use for all my cowls. I just use that. So it's just a little under 10 inches. It's like nine and three quarters. So what I want to do though is I don't want all the same color. I do actually have several skeins of yarn that, because what I do is I finish one and then I start on another one. So I'm going to make some of these. I actually have two of these done right now that I have to fringe, so I might just make a bunch or grab another skein, the one that I was crocheting with earlier. Yeah, why don't I do that? I'll set this one aside and then I'll go grab the other skein. So I have my fringe cut and I'm going to start right here at the bottom. I always like to put one right in the middle at the bottom. So I'm just poking in wherever I can get in. I'm going to grab a couple different colored strands of yarn, and that's totally optional. I mean, you can just use what's left at the end of it and mix it up or whatever, but I just like to have all the, you know, as many different colors in there as I can get. So you just stick the hook in there, and then you wrap it around and pull through and pull it tight. So then there's no specific place to put this. I just kind of eyeball it, and... I just kind of go about the same width apart. I'm going to say probably do uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch, about half an inch apart. So you just stick your crochet hook in there, grab the colors that you want or whatever you want for your fringe, and then you lay it on top, hold it down, pull it through. And then kind of line up your ends here so they're pretty close. Wrap it around and pull through the loop. And then you pull tight. So I just, like I said, I just go in kind of anywhere and just kind of estimate to be about half inch, three quarter inch apart. Let's grab some strings and put it on. So this is actually, the fringe is what holds the cowl together. Now you could sew it if you want, but I find that the fringe works just fine to keep it together. Um, when I do sew my cowls on Etsy, I do put um, washing instructions in there and um, I let them know that the cowl is held together by the fringe so do not take the fringe off because I actually had I sold to somebody locally on Facebook marketplace and she took all the fringe off and told me that her cowl fell apart 
So now I put the little warning labels on all my stuff when I sell it on how to wash it. So the best way to wash these, if you, <laughs> there goes my phone. I'll come back and let you know the best way to wash it. Okay, so I'm back. That was not good news. My daughter called and her car broke down somewhere. So um, my husband is en route to go see what's going on. But it doesn't sound good. It's an old vehicle and I have a feeling it might be done for. So, so yeah. <sighs> it's always something, right? All right, so I am just gonna keep going and I am gonna put, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and fringe it up. Um, I'll check back in when I get, like this side's pretty straightforward, but when I get to right here, I'm gonna check back in with you. So I'm right at the end here. Now I wanna make sure that I get this end on here. Otherwise it's just gonna kinda curl up. So you wanna make sure you get one in the very, very end. Oh, just grab my three strands of yarn, pull it through. I don't even know how many calls I've made. I have made probably 300 of these things. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, so this is about how your cowl is going to sit right here. So I always go like right up to about there. So I'm probably going to do two more in here. And then I go about that far up on the other side, so right about there. So then I'm going to put the fringe on the other side. Make sure you have these two together. And you go right through both plies of it, if I didn't tell you that earlier. But I'm going to go all the way up to here. Okay, I'm starting to get to the end here. Now I just wanted to show you, this is just like on the other side. You want to make sure that you get one in that last edge right here. So kind of stick that in here just so that little flap doesn't flap down. Just thought I would pop back in real quick while I'm fringing this to show you that. So that that's all on there and there's no end flapping around. So I got a couple more strands to do, but I am almost finished. So I'm gonna get that done. Okay, it is all finished. It is so cute. I know I got the camera really close because I was crocheting, but there it is. <laughs> it's all done. Um, I really wish I could give credit to whoever came up with this pattern because it really is a very beautiful pattern. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead, you know, you can um, let me know. Let me know how I did on this video because I don't know if people can understand my crochet videos. Let me know if you want me to do more crochet videos because I mostly do the crafts because I crochet all the time and I'm always making the same stuff so I don't have a lot of time to do other things. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope I did a great job on this tutorial. And I love it if you subscribe, hit the little bell, get notified when I upload, and take care. Thank you. Bye.